sama gue gue yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are Two Fun Guys, I'm Josh And I'm Kevin, we're coming to you from the secret bug out bunker here in the wild and wonderful state of West Virginia Today we're going to be talking to you all about Water Clean, purified drinking water But, you're out in the wilderness You're not going to have that You're going to have swamp water Clean water, dirty water. We have three things of dirt water, so to say, and we're going to be testing three different methods of purifying that water. First up, we have Aquamira, the drops. Comes in two little bottles, one fluid ounce a piece, um, part A and part B. Um, now these two total together will make 120 liters of water or 30 gallons drinkable. Um, you mix seven drops of each part A and part B into the cap. Uh, we already have this pre-mixed, so it's ready to go for use. Um, seven drops of each since we are testing one liter of water. Um, the main ingredients of that are chlorine dioxide and inert ingredients in part A, but part B is phosphoric acid activator, 5%. Um, it's easy to use, no aftertaste, and like I said, treats up to 30 gallons of water or 120 liters. Um, we decided we were gonna do more than one one method of you know purifying the water and we were also going to be doing the taste tests on these yep so we were going to you know rate it on a scale of one to ten one tasting like pure water two chemical taste but drinkable or i'm sorry about a five will be a chemical taste but drinkable ten chemical taste and just too horrible to drink mm -hmm. all right so on this bottle i'm going to be using Aquamira tablets. Um, the difference between these is the Aquamira tablets contain sodium chloride. It also contains um, sodium dichloroisocyanurate dihydrate. <clears throat> um, in order to get the same amount of water as the drops, you would have to have 120 tablets. And ironically enough, 120 tablets in the wrapper is also two ounces, which is the same as the liquid. Yep. So if you're worried about, you know, weight, if you're, you know, if you're a gram hound and you like ultralight backpacking, then this is what you would need. You need 120 of these to get uh, roughly 30 gallons of water. Same as that right there. And just so that we don't get them mixed up, this bottle, I've actually put a, one of the, you know, support, it was like a little bracelet band there, yeah, so we have that one marked, since they're both exactly the same <clears throat> bottles, green lid, clear bottle. Um, also, in this bottle, the reason we're using a separate bottle uh, is so that we can keep them separated. We're going to use Purinize. Now, Purinize is less of a chemical purification method and more of a flocculant. What that means is when I put 15 drops per liter, <whistles> President Colin, I'll catch him later. We got the, I have the time for you right now. Yeah. All right. I wouldn't talk to him anyway. <laughs> anyway, the Purinize, it is 2% sulfate mineral salts and 98% purified water. And what a flocculant does is it causes all the sediment... And there's a lot the of water to clump together and settle to the bottom. And then you would actually have to pour or siphon the water off the top in order to get the benefits of it. So we're going to do that. This is going to be seven drops to a liter and one tablet to a liter and what? Seven drops per part. So 14 drops per liter. Um, 
We're also going to be testing emergency purified drinking water um, just to see how it tastes and compare all four. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First off, let me let me make a correction. I started off saying 15 drops, then I said seven drops per liter. It's actually 15 drops per liter. We're going to do this one last because it's going to actually have uh, a physical effect on you know the clarity of the water. So we'll do it last and see how long it takes. Time to mix them. Liquid going in. It came out almost the color of this lid, a little green. Make sure you get all of it in there. Now with this, if the water is very turrid or very cold, um, let it sit for 30 minutes. But if the water is not almost to freezing point, um, this water's room temperature, um, we should be good to let it sit for roughly just 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add the tablet. It's supposed to sit a, the same amount of time. Um, it's actually bubbling. It's dissolving very quickly. It almost looks like Alka-Seltzer in, yeah, uh, in water. Yeah, kind of effervescent. Um, to get maximum benefit from these purification methods, it stays to wait four hours. Um, which that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to let it sit for mm -hmm. four hours and come back and test it in just a little while. So we're going to break away and see you in four hours. All right, guys, the four hours is up that we have to wait. So now we're gonna go through and do a taste test, see how everything tastes and let you know. Before we get started, I'm gonna put the flocculent, um, 15 drops. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 drops. A little swishy, swishy. And we'll let that work while we taste test the other ones. First up, we have the Aquamira drops. A little bit of sediment at the bottom. A little bit of grass at the top. Yeah, some grass root texture. Um, it's fiber. I mean, there's no smell. It smells just like smells just like drinking water. See how it tastes. <clears throat> I don't taste any any chemicals at all. Um, I mean, there is no hint whatsoever that there is anything else in, in that water besides water. Got some <coughs> grass <laughs> throat. <coughs> Water tastes good. It's grass, not so much. Any watered down? I mean, any no, I chemical? Don't, no. No chemical taste at all. On a scale of drinkability, it's totally drinkable. Yeah. No, no pre-taste, no aftertaste, no odd taste. Just like, just like regular. Just like water. Yeah. All right. Now we have the Aquamira tablets. tabs. Slightly different mixture, I believe, um, chemical chemical wise. But we're gonna again taste this one out. I'm gonna give it to Mikey. He'll try anything. Now this one smells a little bit like a like pool water, like it's chlorinated water. 
See how it tastes. And it tastes like pool water. It tastes just like pool water. I mean, you can let Uncle that, Buck get a slug of that. You have right that of chlorine in there. There's some chunks floating at the top. You know I like them chunky. Yeah, it does. It smells like heavily chlorinated pool water, like public pool chlorinated pool water. Yeah. Tastes not too bad. I mean, it tastes it's, a little bit of the chlorine, but it's it's not it's, it's not as pure as as the drops. Um, but yeah, much better taste from the drops. On the drinkability scale, I mean, it's it's if this is a ten, this is about a seven. Um, pretty close, but yeah, I could totally I could make it a week drinking this without you know it wouldn't ruin my trip or anything. Uh, might even get used to it, but I mean. If I was going on a on a shorter trip, instead of carrying two ounces, I could carry one ounce or or less of tablets. I'd I'd, I'd go with these. Yeah, no problem. And chlorinated tasting water is better than no water at all. So now it looks like it's done what it's supposed to do. I mean, most of that sediment is at the bottom. I mean, that's what it claims it'll do. Um, man, a bug is it? I was thinking that piece of grass got legs. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and see how it smells. Get a big swallow. Again, this this one smells like the drops. There is no chemical smell at all. You want me to get that bug out of there for you? Yeah. <laughs> Taste. A little bit dirty like you you can still it still has you can tell there's dirt in there um i would say the dirt taste is not as heavy as the chlorinated taste in this one but still on top of my list the now or the uh aquamir drops I'm going to get that piece of grass with legs to move over a little bit. Yeah, that was a big chunk. So far, least favorite. Um, I can drink it. But right now, I'm questioning how good this stuff works. And I, I'm, I don't know. I, this would not go in my bag. For, mine. For, mine, for, for any reason. Uh, pure nice. Sorry. <laughs> These two, I would take with me any day, anywhere. Um... So I don't know if you've all ever tried the emergency purified drinking water before. Um, personally, I never have. So I'm going to give it a shot real quick. See how it tastes. It actually smells plasticky. See how it tastes. It, it it tastes like plastic too. Yeah. Great. You wanna give it a shot? Yeah. Oh god. Alright. Here's my problem with this. One It's heavy. It's heavy. Um this is four fluid ounces. It weighs four ounces. Um, if you drink a gallon a day, a gallon weighs roughly 
eight pounds. If you and that's that's bare minimum, a gallon a day. If you're going to be gone for three days, and you have to take enough water to survive on, you're going to have to have a whole. You're going to have to have a duffel bag full of this stuff, and on top of that, it's going to be 24 extra pounds on top of everything else you're carrying. Then it's going to taste like crap. It's going to ruin your entire weekend. It tastes the worst. Would I drink it to keep from dying? Yeah. Would I drink it knowing there's something else out there on the market that I have access to? No. No way. Um, so, again, the clear winner is the Aquamira Drops. Um, 10 out of 10 for drinkability, no chemical taste, no chemical smell at all. Um, it's, it's a winner in my book. And for, for two ounces to carry to get 30 gallons of purified drinking water, it's a no-brainer. Definitely. Um, if you never if you've never tried Aquamira Drops, as usual, we'll throw you a link down there. Be sure to comment. If you have anything else that you want us to try, if you have something you want to send to us to try, yeah. you know, we'll, just let us know. We'll give you the email address. We'll try to it the out. guy down the street because nobody knows where the secret bug out bunker is. That's right. But um, and we'll try whatever product out that you want us to try. Um, as always, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thank you to the men and women in uniform. Um, until next time, two fun guys out. Pass me down some crackers if you don't mind. Thanks. You get pretty hungry on set sometimes.